We're here with Derek Handley, Chief Executive Officer and co-founder of the Hyper Factory. You were here today at the IAB Mobile Marketplace talking about your work with Kraft and how it blossomed from you know, an app to multiple apps over the course of only a year. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've done for them? Sure. Um, I think that uh, what we started doing was trying to create a strategic plan and a vision that would kind of push us through a few years and then worked backwards and created a number of building blocks that made sense. Uh, one of the first things we did was kind of look for blind spots, like where they weren't covered, uh, where they should be covered, uh, a bit more than wh uh, where they were when we started, and focused there you know, quite quickly uh, before we moved on to a bit of innovation and uh, trying to push the boundaries a bit more. So it's a bit of doing both things at the same time to, to move the brand forward as fast as we can. What did they initially ask you for? And when you're talking about those blind spots, is it in terms of blind spots in consumer engagement, blind spots in you know, content the marketplace would be you know, eager to have? So they initially asked for a strategic, uh, a, a strategic engagement, like an agency that can help them really navigate the space, but also innovate. Um, so blind spots, I mean, uh, more you know, kind of territory that they weren't covering from a consumer perspective, so in a consumer a usage perspective, which may be things like, you know, if you're not focusing enough on the mobile web or SMS, uh, where there are audiences that, that you should be focusing on, uh, as opposed to, you know, too much on another particular area. So that's kind of, uh, you know, what I mean by blind spots. And many brands have them. Sometimes they're purposeful. And they're like, we're not going to do this yet because we can't afford to or it's not right, but we know that we need to do it some sometime. So that's kind of how we started, filling out those. And you said you started with a two to three year plan and kind of worked back from there. How would anyone look two to three years out, decide what the world's going to be like, especially in mobile, which is evolving so quickly, and, and be prepared to charge in that direction? Well, uh, two to three years um, is really around vision and strategy. So that shouldn't change. What changes in the two to three years is tactical uh, things that appear. And unless it's major, right, unless it's a major, major trend, everything else is really tactical. And uh, until it proves itself to be a trend, you know, you don't need to react entirely to it. Um, and with regards to uh, how we get them to think that way, well, we, we all, when you look at consumer insights, they don't change either. People behave the same way. It's just that they are given different tools to behave differently. So we try to ground it in a bit of insight as to what's the goal that we want mobile to play for this business in the long run. And whatever tactics come along the way, whether it's augmented reality or you know, social gaming or check-ins or whatever it might be, we fill them in if they appear and, uh, and try and understand how is it going to change our strategy, if at all. But normally, they're just more tactics that can supplement um, an already sound strategy. When you have all these tactics, you know, Kraft has SMS, coupons, mobile site, various apps, the iPad app. How, how does a brand as big as Kraft with as many consumers, as many, a variety of consumers as Kraft does, how, how do they stay brand consistent activating on all these channels? Well, I think that's part of the role of, you know, having a good uh, holistic team and some oversight over the different assets that you're creating so that they look and seem like they're coming from the same voice. Uh, and that's a large role, you know, the agency or the strategist plays. Um, and then when you're creating assets, you still have to create them in the same vein that, you know, the company themselves would create them um, to ensure that they all are consistent. So it's really about communication and kind of unity of, of purpose and un underpinned by the same vision and, and strategy. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.